14 migrants died off the Tunisian coast after their boats drowned in two separate incidents on March 7th and 8th. Tunisian officials claimed that they were able to rescue at least 54 others who were on board the two boats. As per reports, the boats sank hours after leaving the Tunisian city, Spakus. Most of those on board were from sub-Saharan African countries and were headed to Italy in an attempt to migrate to Europe. Tunisia has long been a transit point for migrants seeking a better life in Europe. But ever since President Kais Saeed made a racist speech against immigrants last month, things have worsened for migrants. He accused migrants from sub-Saharan Africa of trying to change the country's demographics. The Tunisian Coast Guard had detained at least 435 undocumented migrants on 8th March, of whom 426 were from sub-Saharan African countries. They also claimed to have thwarted 14 illegal border crossing attempts. However, migrant aid organizations claimed that Tunisian officials forcefully removed the engines of at least seven boats carrying migrants and let them float in the sea for hours. Alarm phone tweeted pictures of some ships stranded at sea along with the comments of some of the occupants alleging racism by Tunisian authorities. Alarm phone is an organization that provides support to those attempting to cross the Mediterranean to the European Union. Strict border control policies followed by European countries have led to migrants being stranded at sea for days, many even losing their lives in the process. According to the International Organization for Migration, since 2014, more than 26,000 people have either died or are missing in the Mediterranean region after trying to migrate to Europe. Around 21,000 people of sub-Saharan origin are documented to be in Tunisia, mostly students or workers doing physical labor, some waiting to cross the sea to Europe. Ever since February 21st, when uh, President Gais Saeed gave that infamous speech blaming the migrants from sub-Saharan Africa coming to Tunisia with the larger objective of changing the demographic profile of the country, making it more African than Arab, indulging in criminal activities and so on and so forth, there have been reports of increase in violence against them, uh, racial hatred, racial profiling against them, which has led to a, a, a large number of them losing their jobs and leaving the country altogether. Uh, but uh, most of the migrants from sub-Saharan African countries come to Tunisia uh, because they want to escape the, the, the bad economic condition in their own countries and hence they cannot afford to go back to their countries. And some of them are trying to move to European countries through the Mediterranean Sea. And uh, given the fact that the European countries do not welcome uh, migrants, um, uh, they have basically very strict border control policies. So a large number of them, uh, most of the time, are stranded in the sea. So Tunisian, uh, this uh, death of 14 uh, migrants, uh, which have been reported, is primarily because of that. the fact that a section of the uh, African, uh, sub-Saharan African migrants were trying to move to uh, Europe uh, uh, gi uh, given the hostilities in Tunisia, but they were unable to uh, reach Europe and therefore their small boats, uh, two of them uh, basically sank. And uh, uh, there were also reports uh, uh, on social media and in, in other prof uh, platforms which basically indicate that the Tunisian coast, coast guards have basically used uh, uh, disproportional force and uh, various kinds of uh, 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 oppressive policies against the migrants, which have led to uh, uh, inhuman suffering uh, uh, for the uh, for the large uh, number of migrants. Uh, 